The integrated works at Tottenham Court Road Station um, is essentially two major civil engineering projects uh, being delivered as one. The first one is Tottenham Court Road Station Upgrade, which is a project which is currently being delivered by London Underground, um, which is to increase the original ticket hall at Tottenham Court Road Station. That will effectively be the main station that serves the two new platforms that we're creating, which then access the place where we're standing at the moment, which is the new Dean Street ticket hall, which is the new station building as well as oversight development located on Dean Street within Soho. What we've created is a new um, station building which will front onto Oxford Street. There is a new public realm. So we've actually pedestrianised part of Dean Street to allow for this piazza forecourt. So it becomes a new meeting point within, um, within Soho. One of the original briefs from um, the, the from Crossrail was to actually make sure that the station buildings reflect the character of the environment that they're within. In the east, within St Giles, we, we picked up clues from Centrepoint, this iconic landmark building, which uh, with its, with its um, white modernist concrete, we wanted to um, reflect that within the interior of, this, of the Tottenham Court Road Station upgrade project. So there it was light and bright. However, in the west, in Soho, we really wanted to pick up on the nocturnal culture of Soho. People come out here in the evenings to go out to theatres and clubs and bars. And so there, the station entrance, we wanted it to feel as though you're about to enter almost like a Soho theatre. So the interior there is black. It's actually black glass and black steel and black concrete. Uh, we've got innovative stainless steel um, lighting drums which uh, not only provide you with lighting but actually uh, provide acoustic attenuation. We took cues from the theatres within Soho um, and some of the bars and cafes where um, lighting was always a main feature especially as it has its nocturnal environment. We've actually used the common design elements within the entire platforms using the GRC, using the full high pair doors and the same lighting strategy throughout the platforms. What I like at Tottenham Court Road is because we have so much art here, you know, effectively I always say it's like an art gallery that trains have to run through. There's a legacy of art within Tottenham Court Road Station with the um, a mosaic by Palazzi and the abstract minister of work by Daniel Biren. Obviously it's a, a complex brief and a complex piece of architecture. There's a lot going on in different places and I was looking for, for something special in the building and I, I felt like this would be a, a, an interesting place to kind of just try and slow down that, in, that engagement with this transitional moment in, in, in the station. The work itself will have this sort of juxtaposition of something quite raw, you know, with a very sort of austere concrete surface and this very, very delicate, fine material that has this incredible reflective quality that will kind of appear and disappear as you, as you move through the space. It's been um, amazing working with a whole raft of engineers and contractors in, 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 in a large multidisciplinary team. It's great to be able to build um, a, a fantastic piece of infrastructure in your own town, um, uh, especially um, a station that you're going to be use, using on your daily commute. When the Elizabeth Line opens um, at Tottenham Court Road Station, um, I think the thing that's going to excite me most is watching people that use the station and listening to what they have to say. The people that use Tottenham Court Road Station are so diverse. It encompasses probably all of London. And to hear what they all have to say about the spaces that we've, the subterranean spaces that we've created underneath Soho and how they move through them and how they arrive into different parts of the city, I think is gonna be fascinating.